Number 1. Citadel of Namur. The Citadel of Namur is immediately recognizable, it is an impressive looking fortress building originally built in the Roman era. The citadel has since been rebuilt several times and what you can see now dates back more to the 19th century than the 9th. The walk up to the citadel's ramparts is steep but well worth it for the commanding views they offer. Number 2. Aigle Saint Lou. If you are touring Belgium, you may have already seen a lot of Baroque churches but be sure not to miss this one. It is very striking and imposing and the carved confession booths, stone archways and stunning ceiling make sure this church stands out from the others you may have seen during your time in the country. Number 3. Felician Rops Museum. This museum is not one to take the children to. Felician Rops is a Belgian artist who specialized in erotic artwork in the 19th century. Inside you will see a large collection of the artist's work, be sure to pick up the museum guide if you don't speak Dutch or French as the labels that accompany the artwork are not in English. Number 4. Wallonian Cuisine. Namur is gaining something of a reputation when it comes to fine dining establishments. Lutemps de Cerises is a particular highlight offering traditional Walloon cuisine and continually receiving positive reviews from tourists and locals alike. The restaurant is very well decorated and you will be able to enjoy some great food in stylish surroundings. Number 5. Namur's Best Pub. The best pub in Namur, in my humble opinion, is Lou Chapiter. The house beer, a blonde of course, is of great quality and reasonably priced at 3 euros and 30 cents. If the house beer does not tempt you however there is a great selection of other beers listed on a long blackboard by the bar. Number 6. Park Attractive. Unlike the Felician Rops Museum, this park is a place to take children, if you have them. The park, which was built in 1959, offers a large playground area with many different activities and attractions for children. If you do not have kids with you, a stroll through the park is still worthwhile. It is set in the leafy green surroundings of the Namur Citadel. Number 7. Town Square. A trip to a European city would not be complete without visiting the town square. As you would expect the square is nice to look at and has plenty of good photo opportunities. The square is also a good spot for eating and drinking with several good venues dotted around the outskirts. Number 8. City's Cathedral. As with the town square, a visit to Namur would not be complete without a visit to the cathedral. This cathedral is impressive from the outside and almost looks like something out of a J.R.R. Tolkien novel with its numerous stone columns and dark stone facade. Number 9. Treasure in Namur. The treasure house of Tresor de Hugo de Oines is truly a hidden gem in Namur. It is one of the city's lesser-known attractions but is definitely worth a visit and may well be the place that you recommend to other travelers to Namur. The building is very unassuming from the outside and could easily be missed if you are not looking for it. Number 10. Strawberries. Don't be reluctant to visit this museum just because it is solely focused on the history of strawberries. It is well presented and actually very interesting. The area of Waipon is famous for its cultivation of strawberries, hence the museum. It is a fairly small museum with around five rooms to explore, but there is plenty to learn and many artifacts and objects from the eventful history of the strawberry. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.